Now, Workington was cut in two by last November's devastating floods. A large part of the town was effectively cut off after one bridge collapsed and another was deemed too safe, too unsafe to use. But it seems that finally there is some good news. Work on a new bridge is on schedule to finish within the four months time frame. John Beaver was in West Cumbria for us today. The foundations are in place and work is well underway. Although only a temporary fix, the new bridge in Workington will be able to carry all traffic. Work started about a month ago and should be finished by the end of May. With the help of the army, a footbridge was opened just before Christmas. It provided the one link between north and south. But driving still takes around 40 minutes. This bridge will change all that and it's going up extremely quickly. It's quite a challenge because ultimately we've got quality procedures that we've got to work to and safety procedures that we've got to work to, so yeah, it's making the whole thing gel, gel together. And although this isn't a permanent bridge, HTVs are going to use this just the same as everybody Yeah, it'll be all HTVs, local traffic uh, in both directions. Hopefully those will help relieve, relieve some of the problems and congestion that we've got in the town. Across the county, 10 road bridges remain closed. Some should be open by the end of March. Others, which need replacing, like Low Lawton Bridge, won't reopen until October at the earliest. In Cockermouth, dozens of workers are slowly bringing the main street back to life. And it's good news for the bridges there as well. Since the floods, Cockermouth has been effectively cut in half. Two bridges here still remain closed to traffic. But on the 24th of March, they, along with the high street, will be reopened four months after the devastation. So things seem to be looking up across the county. With all going to plan, the new and very welcome bridge in Workington will be opened on the 28th of May. This is John Beaver in West Cumbria.